Good morning, babes. It's Wednesday. That means the checkpoint between the week. How are you doing, Mr. Fonseca? I'm doing great. Good morning, Bates. How are you doing, Mr. Softick? Good, good. It's been a uh, the week. Uh, to me, the week's flying by. I don't know okay. about you, but I was surprised. Sometimes after vac a vacation, you know, the week goes by a little bit slower, but I think everybody's kind of jumped back into their remote routine. I can't speak for everybody. I'm, I'm sure there's some kiddos out there who uh, are having a little trouble getting back into the routine or schedule. What do you think about that? I think so, but I'm honestly amazed. It's already Wednesday, and we're already so close to the end of the week. So I think that as you adjust, especially maybe if you were doing in-person and now you're adjusting to remote, that might take a little bit of an adjustment. But it's really important because it's part of being a good student that you're logging into your classes remotely right now. Uh, because logging into those classes remotely is part of coming to class, and it's part of having good attendance. So you want to make sure you're doing that because just as, as it would be if you were coming to class in person, when you log in a class, that's the same as showing up to your class and saying, I'm here. So we want to make sure we're always logging into our classes every day this week. And of course, continuing to, if you're one of our remote learners. So, you know, as a remote learner, sometimes you, you know, you have a class, right? And then you get a little break to get away from the computer and you come back. Do you have any strategies or anything that you think would be helpful to make sure that you get back on time? Definitely. It's always good to set a timer, especially, you know, if your teacher said you're going to take a 10 minute break, you know, have uh, someone set a timer for you or set a timer yourself. It's going to ring when it's time to come back. That's really helpful to know when your break is over, or almost over, and you won't miss any of the time that you'd be in class with your classmates. Yeah, another, I think another good strategy is to you mute your, uh, you know, your computer and you turn your camera off but you can still hear the teacher. That way, if you do lose track of time, you can hear your teacher, you know, bringing everyone back um, and beginning the next, you know, section and next content area. Um, it's just another strategy, just in case, you know, those time mechanisms don't, don't always come through for you. Exactly, that's a great strategy. All right, so, um, yeah, we have uh, three more days before the weekend. Um, you know, there are a lot more kids will be coming back to school on January 11th, and, you know, K2, who are already in person, um, they're going to get back into that routine and then you know our third fourth and fifth graders we're going to welcome back about you know 60 to 70 more kids um over the you know whatever hybrid day it is so uh you know that's gonna be a lot of new schedule and new routine for these kids especially maybe getting up a little bit earlier any strategies for that it can be tough to wake up early but the best thing you can do if you know you're going to be getting up early is to start going to bed a little earlier too because you want to make sure you get enough sleep and that you're well rested for class so if you're used to going to bed uh, a bed at a time that's a little bit later and you know you're going to start coming to school a little bit earlier try to change that bedtime to just a little bit earlier even if it's just one hour earlier that way you can make sure you're getting enough sleep so that when you come to school you feel awake and you feel refreshed yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because, um, you know, the remote learning day starts at 745 and you can kind of roll out of bed and hop on the computer real quick. You know, you can sleep till 730. Probably I'm sure some of you do. But, you know, if you get to catch a bus, you get, you know, you, you're going to get to school. You know, you got to make sure you get up, make sure you, you know, have something to eat because, you know, we do have breakfast in the classroom. But sometimes, you know, you, you could be on a bus for 45 minutes and then in the classroom for 30 before the breakfast arrives, right? Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that you, uh, you know, you're prepared for that. We want to make sure you're as focused and have as much energy as possible. And that's making sure that you have a good night's sleep and drinking water. And then if you don't have breakfast, you know, we have it at school. So we want to make sure we get those nutrients in you so you have as good a day as possible. And, you know, that same goes for if you're remote, you know, make sure you're doing the same three things. Exactly. It's so helpful to be in class knowing that you've gotten a good night's sleep, that you know you feel like you've eaten up and you're full and you're ready to learn. You know, that way you can do your very best when you're in class. Right on. So there, there are no beacons of the week this week. We will continue that next week. Um, then we're also going to be theming the week. So on Monday, we're going to be talking about some Amistad week. And so we're, we're gonna, there's going to be some themed activities and we'll get into that. And it's a good way to kick off the new year with the house system. Um, so I look forward to that and I think we should get uh, I think we need to get Kat and Mr. Robinson on for tomorrow because I think we you know we miss them you know Definitely. get the, the morning going what do you think about that I think that's a fantastic idea all right wonderful so uh, you know let's get back to work let's have a great day it's Wednesday it's cold out get a sweatshirt on cozy up if you're in front of the computer and let's get after it all right exactly so that's gonna wrap things up for us today and as always it's a great day to be great